hello guys so today we talk about uh, fluvial processes and uh, fluvial landforms so in this video we cover all the landforms that will forms by the uh, river actions or uh, fluvial uh, actions so uh, fluvial processes are associated with rivers and streams that created the landform when the stream or rivers are uh, associated with glaciers ice sheets or ice caps the term glacio fluvial or uh, fluvio glacial is used fluvial processes include the motion of the sediments and erosion or deposition on the river bed fluvial processes is actually included uh, uh, river erosion river transportation and uh, river deposition so as you can see here this is a, a river so this is the upper course or you can say this is the youth stage so the most erosion occurs in this stage actually and uh, this is the middle course where some erosion and uh, deposition occurs then uh, lower course are old stage this is actually old stage where most of the eroded materials uh, uh, is deposited during this course so let's see what is the stages of rivers and what is the youth stage what is the uh, maturity stage and what is the old stage so stages of river so first one is youth stage in uh, youthful stage the river flows uh, with full of uh, energy and power we can observe the vertical erosion at this stage because of the power of the water hence gorges valleys and uh, waterfalls are uh, formed in this stage the second is maturity stage so in the maturity stage uh, the speed of uh, the river is actually reduced leads to uh, reduced vertical cutting and instead uh, there is a greater widening of the river the deposition of the sediments in the mature stage leads to the uh, formation of the flood plains as well the third one is uh, old stage so in this stage the streams have a low gradient or a slope and they meander back across flood plains the stream has slow velocity with increased load and uh, deposition material the landscape is marked by meander scars oxbow lakes and levees so see here with this diagram uh, this is the actually uh, youth stage the river cuts down and uh, deep uh, depends its valley actually then uh, this is the maturity stage where the river uh, widens its valley as it uh, uh, depends it see here the valley is actually widens and deepen also then the final stage is uh, old stage where the river uh, continues to widen its valley so uh, the land forms that is actually associated with uh, a youth stage of the uh, river so you can say this is the fluvial land forms which is forms by the river actions so uh, we have already understand what is the stages of river now this is the first stage of river youth stage so the v-shaped valley are very common in uh, mountains and hills the fast flowing rivers with steep gradients creates these valleys and in the upper course of the river actually then waterfalls and rapids so waterfall is a steep drop of water in the course of river it has a high head of water with a plunge pool at, uh, at, at, uh, at the base actually canyons so it is a long deep uh, narrow valley with uh, steep cliff falls it often have uh, a stream at bottom so canyon is actually a long deep narrow valley as you can see Colorado Canyon or Colorado Valley you can if you have heard so if you want to know more about uh, uh, these landforms you can refer some books like uh, uh, Geomorphology by Savinder Singh or uh, Geodynamics by uh, K. Siddhartha or you can go with the uh, internet so you can find details about these landforms so gorges a gorge is a steep uh, v-shaped valley formed by the vertical erosion of the river 
then portholes so a porthole is a, a smooth ball shaped or a cylindrical hollow generally uh, deeper than wide found carved into the rocky bed of a water course so this is also a, a landform which forms in the youth stage of the river then river capture so river capture is also known as river piracy or stream piracy is uh, occurring when stream or river drainage system or water set is uh, diverted from its own bed and uh, flows instead down the bed of a neighboring stream so river capturing is actually uh, the river which is uh, follow another river instead of uh, uh, the main course see here uh, this is the waterfall as you can see here then maturity stage landforms so uh, in the uh, maturity stage of river these landforms actually forms in the maturity stage of the river the tributaries have fed the uh, fed the river upstream at this stage the volume of water increases and uh, later uh, lateral erosion is actually taking place as i said in the previous slide that uh, maturity stage is actually uh, the stage where a river is actually widening instead of deepening so the first landform is meanders so meanders is a band or loop uh, in the river as water uh, flows in the meanders it take a helical or a spiral flow where uh, erosion and uh, deposition is actually take place slip off slope a uh, slip off slope is a depositional landforms that uh, occur on the ins inside convex bank of a main a meandering river then the uh, river cliff uh, so this is also known as jacket bank and uh, is the outside bank of a curve or meander in a water channel which is uh, continually uh, undergoing erosion then oxbow lake so an oxbow lake is a u-shaped lake or pool that uh, forms when a wide meander of a river is cut off creating a free standing body of water uh, alluvial fan so an alluvial fan is an uh, accumulation of sediments that uh, fans uh, outwards from a concentrated uh, source of sediments such as a narrow canyon uh, emerging from an escarpment see here these are the maturity stage landforms so this is the meander scars as you can see this is the mainstream and uh, this is the actually meandering as you can see this is the river meandering and uh, this is also actually when meandering is actually cut off from the uh, main source of water body that is known as oxbow lake as you can see here this is meandering scarce this is a point where which is uh, uh, actually where the actually uh, sand or uh, silt are uh, deposited due to the slow velocity of water in at the curve so this is the point where and this is the natural leverage so uh, uh, i have already uh, made some video on point bar and some other uh, landforms uh, fluvial landforms and glacial landforms landforms also so you can see my uh, those videos and uh, i will also make uh, some individual uh, videos on uh, uh, landforms on individual landforms so in this video i am not describing detail in the landforms actually what is your uh, rejuvenations so this is the uh, land forms uh, which is forms uh, at the old stage of the river so old stage land forms may be uh, uplifted due to the climate change or tectonic activities because of the river is moving on a flat surface sediment deposition uh, often act as a barrier to free flow of water making it to the uh, it to form different drainage pattern actually in the delta area so these are the different uh, drainage pattern dendritic drainage pattern parallel drainage pattern radial and rectangular i have uh, already made video on uh, this topic so you can go through that 
old stage are uh, depositional landforms so these are the uh, landforms which is uh, uh, actually forms at the old stage of the river so first is natural leverage the narrow belt of uh, ridges of low height built by the deposition of sediments by the spill water of the stream on its uh, either bank is called natural leverage or natural embankment alluvial fans and cones so alluvial fans and cones due to the accumulation of materials are always formed at the base of the foothills where there is a abrupt drop in the channel uh, gradient actually and then delta so the depositional feature of the uh, almost triangular shape uh, this delta is actually almost uh, uh, in triangular shape at the mouth of the river debouching uh, either in the lake or a sea is called delta so uh, I have also made uh, a video on delta so you can go through that see here this is the delta this is the main uh, river and this is the sea area or lake area where the river is meet so this is all about uh, uh, fluvial uh, landforms if you like this video just uh, uh, subscribe this channel and uh, share to others